Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at some ways to customize our slider to make it look pretty much any way we want it to look. And that's one of the really neat things about sliders is that you can make them look a lot less like sliders. So in this example, we're looking at the moon phase graphic and we have a default slider. But there's a lot of things we can do to actually visually align this slider with the design theme we have here with the moon phases. So one thing we can do is just make this slider, let me minimize the timeline, a little bit sleeker. We can make it a little bit narrower. And maybe that's too narrow, right? We can bring it up. Well, obviously, we can make it a lot bigger. But let's just make it a little bit narrower. And the other thing we can do is change the color. And we can do a couple different ways. If we go up to the Format tab. We can choose to fill the track either with one of these default colors, or we could even use the eyedropper color and pick a color from our image, right? So now we've got that nice blue here for the track color. And let's turn off the outline here just to make this even more sleek. No outline. And if I click away, so already the slider is starting to look a lot better, like it belongs with this, with this uh, design theme. Now one of the really neat things is that we can uh, choose a different thumbnail for our thumb. Now we have some pre-built thumbs which we looked at earlier, or we can actually just fill this with our own image. And you do that by coming up to the thumb styles, and for thumb fill, we're going to choose picture. Now if you're following along, you'll have this moon graphic in your assets folder. Just go ahead and select the moon. And now you can see that our thumbnail for the moon, or the thumbnail is actually the moon graphic. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the outline. You can see the bounding box is also outlining our moon. So go back up to thumb styles, thumb border, and we'll say no outline. And if we wanted to add a custom drop shadow to the moon graphic, we could do that as well. So go back to thumb styles, thumb effects, and then you have some shadow effects right here. And just adds a little bit of a shadow. If I wanna make this bigger, I could do that as well, or make it smaller. So there's a lot of neat things you can do with sliders. And again, part of it sometimes is just making the slider look less like a slider and then finding visual ways to integrate it into your design theme. All right, so go ahead and practice the activity. If you have any questions, just as always, ask in the forums. and We'll be more than happy to help you out. And now it's up to you to find ways to creatively use sliders in your next e-learning projects.